Hello, my name is Dr. Azza Weir Soli. To my right is Miss Jasmine Singletary. To my left is Miss Anna Radia Molina. We will be jointly co-hosting this show, Talk the Things, for the Association of Caribbean Women Writers and Scholars. The ACWWS was formed in 1994 to continue the momentum sparked by the 1988 Caribbean Women Writers and Scholars Conference organized by Professor Selwyn Cujo. Since its inception, the ACWWS has hosted numerous conferences and symposiums and launched the popular scholarly journal, Macomer, all in the effort to support and disseminate the scholarly and creative work of Caribbean women writers and scholars. The ACWWS also provides a platform for emergent writers and scholars who do work in the Caribbean and its diaspora to meet, share, collaborate, and fellowship in a safe and supportive community. We encourage viewers with an interest in Caribbean scholarship to join our organization. Membership information can be found at www.acwws.org. The goal of this channel, Talk the Things, is to continue the valuable work of ACWWS by providing this online platform for scholars and writers whose work center the Caribbean and its diverse diasporic communities. We urge scholars of all disciplines, genders, races, and ethnicities to support this channel by liking, subscribing, and sharing with your friends. Talk the Things will feature interviews with Caribbean writers, as well as poetry, fiction, storytelling, and popular topics of interest to our Caribbean communities. Um, Jasmine, would you like to introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about you? Yes, of course. Greetings. I am Jasmine Singletary, and I have a Master's of Arts in African and African Diaspora Studies from Florida International University. I also hold a graduate certificate in Afro-Latin and Caribbean Studies. So this program is right up my alley. Please subscribe to our channel and consider joining ACWWS. Membership into this organization grants you an exclusive subscription to ACWWS e-newsletter, access to a larger community of scholars, artists, and professionals that study and celebrate the creative and critical writings by and about women of the Caribbean and the Caribbean diaspora. As a member, you also receive mentorship and opportunities to graduate student awards. For more information about membership and what the annual dues are, please visit www.acwws.org slash membership. Please like, subscribe, and share this channel with your friends. And if they are graduate students, don't forget to enter the contest. Miss Molina, would you like to tell us a little bit about yourself? Yes, of course. Hello, everyone. My name is Anna Radia Molina, and I am an English literature student at Florida International University. My focus is in the Caribbean literature, therefore I am so excited to be part of this project. And again, please like, subscribe, and share this channel with your friends. And if they are graduate students, don't forget to enter the contest. It will be amazing. Miss Singletary, I have a question for you. I, I know you just completed your MA in AADS and one of the writers you focused on was Audre Lorde. I have a couple of questions for you. You can answer them in any order that you choose. Um, what are, are the, do you have a personal Caribbean connection yourself? Um, and what are the linkages that you find between Caribbean and African-American literature? And do you see Lord as a Caribbean writer or do you see her as an African-American writer? Okay, um, those are good questions. So I do have a personal Caribbean connection. I have many, many family members from the islands, namely Trinidad and Tobago, sweet tea and tea. So although I am American, I grew up familiar with um, the Caribbean influence and culture. So I do think that there are diasporic connections between African American and Caribbean um, literature. Both communities face similar ethnic and racial oppressions that manifest in the literature that we write. I'd say Audre Lorde is both an African-American writer and a Caribbean writer because she embraced both of those identities. Um, she was American identified, but as a child of Grenadian immigrants, the Caribbean influence is definitely evident in much of her work, especially the biomythography uh, Zami. So I do think um, American audiences tend to emphasize her, Afri her, excuse me, her Caribbean background 
um, a little bit less, however. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think you're right about that. But even in Sister Outsider, we can see that Lord does um, focus on her Caribbean background. There was an essay in Sister Outsider called Grenada, Grenada Revisited, in which she talks about the U.S. invading Grenada in 1983. Mm -hmm. um, and Miss Molina, I have a question for you. What is your connection to the Caribbean? I am from the Dominican Republic. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> um, who are your favorite Caribbean writers and why? Well, that is a good question. I love Dantica, Julia Alvarez. Their, both of their works are just so rich in representing the Caribbean identity. Um, and also their works highlight what it looks like to be from the Caribbean and live in the United States. Therefore, as a Caribbean woman who has lived in the Dominican Republic and as well as the United States, I can relate to their experiences. And talking about Julia Alvarez, ladies, <laughs> on February 22nd, we had the privilege of meeting Alvarez at the Sanders Lecture Series, where she was honored at FIU. And guess what? She has a message for ACWWS, so let's check it out. <laughs> All I signed up was to write books. Now I have to endorse. <laughs> oh, now I'm self-conscious. Hola to the Association of Caribbean uh, Women Writers and Scholars. Saludos uh, de Julia y su amiga que se llama Anaridia. Eh, bueno, para saludarle y desearle éxito en lo que hacen. Somos todo una familia del Caribe, así que adelante, adelante. There you go, guys. The one and only Julia Alvarez wishing us the best and saying that we're all one Caribbean family to never give up and to keep going. How awesome is that? That is awesome. Yes. That was that so is great. Awesome. And now we would like to share with you some more information about the Graduate Student Essay Contest. The Executive Board of the ACWWS announces the second annual ACWWS Graduate Student Essay Contest. In the spirit of the new interdisciplinary focus of the organization, we welcome critical examinations of Caribbean women's literature and oratory, but we also encourage multidisciplinary research papers by or about women, genders, and sexuality in the circum-Caribbean and global Caribbean communities. Submissions are one essay per graduate student and can be made to the ACWWS email account, acwwsexecutive at gmail.com. Please attach as a Word document or PDF. Uh, maximum length of the essay should be 25 pages, double spaced. Essays must be written or trans in or translated into English. And the deadline for the essay is Friday, May 17, 2019 at 5 p.m. The prize is $250. Please contact any of the ACWWS executive board members if you have any questions. Um, Thank you for t tuning in to our, um, to our channel, and we welcome you. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with your friends. And until we see you again, keep your head up, keep your back straight, keep your shoulders up yeah. so your crown doesn't fall <laughs> off. See you later. Bye-bye.